How's it going y'all? Not a typical episode of Out of the Groove today. As you can see, I do not have my typical setup with me, but I am in the process of transforming my Out of the Groove studio setup. Somehow my friends at Pristine Auction must have caught wind of this plan because they sent me a couple massive boxes of supposedly new studio decor for me to open up on camera. And based on the note they sent, there may be some surprises in store for you guys as well. But before we get started, I've got to shout out Pristine Auction for supporting this video. If you don't know about pristineauction.com, they are the most trusted sports memorabilia and collectibles auction site. Auctions on pristineauction.com start at just $1 and each day thousands of signed items are available. So you win signed authentic signatures at affordable prices. Every item on pristineauction.com comes with a certificate of authenticity from the industry's most reputable authenticators. pristineauction.com is your one stop shop for NASCAR memorabilia, collectibles, and so much more. And today, if you use registration code ERIC, you can get $10 off your first order. Huge thank you to Pristine Auction for making this video possible. Now let's uh, resituate ourselves a bit. I wanted to start with the, the smaller of the two boxes, if you believe it. Hmm, must be Italian. Oh, my favorite, bubble wrap. You know, that's one thing my studio has always lacked is like legitimate wall art. I like to hang things on my walls that probably shouldn't be hung on my walls and my previous you know, apartments have gotten mad at me for that. Oh, oh, but this, this is gonna look good. Oh, it's the Ross Chastain Hail Melon framed, caught in 4K and signed by Ross Chastain. Oh my gosh. I think it's ironic that this box was labeled fragile when uh, Ross Chastain proved that these next gen cars are anything but that. What a start here from Pristine Auction. Uh, I'm scared of what's in this bigger box. <sighs> oh, let's give ourselves some space here. Whoa, check these out. We've got a couple of signed Panini Prism. Let's see, you've got Christopher Bell. Are those in focus? It's like holographic, so it's kind of hard to get to focus. Christopher Bell, and then you've got the champ, Ryan Blaney, right here. A couple of NASCAR's top young drivers, two of the most successful drivers this season. Uh, these are awesome. These are incredible. <laughs> Very generous of Pristine to send these my way. I'm not sure these will work too well in my studio background. You know, they're kind of small. You can really only appreciate them up close. So I might have to give these away. Stay tuned till the end. I'll have to come up with the best way to perhaps give some of these and who knows what else away to uh, some of you guys watching at home. But what an awesome start. Love both these drivers. Ooh, this is a thick envelope, like some important government documents in here. Some more high class wall art, perhaps. Whoa, oh, I think there's two things in here. First thing I just pulled out, oh my gosh, a signed Jeff Gordon hero card. PSA certified, get a good look at that young Jeff Gordon. Look at that face, look at that face. There's no year label, but would this be from his rookie Season perhaps? I'm trying to like date the mustache. If any of you in the comments can tell just by looking at either Jeff or the paint scheme, let me know. That is awesome. Oh, signed in petty blue. Route 43, I love that. Signed by the king himself. I love like vintage looking signs and, and like West Coast Route 66. Look at the shirt I'm wearing. We got the whole desert neon theme. That's part of why I love the movie Cars. Radiator Springs perfectly captured that aesthetic. This is awesome though. Got some boxes inside of boxes. This thing is unmarked. It's kind of lightweight. What do we have here? Oh, we've got ourselves a Dale Jr. Mountain Dew signed Funko Pop. Check that out. This is so cool. I've got a uh, Dale Earnhardt one. I've got actually a couple Dale Earnhardt ones, I think. I even have a Ryan Blaney one. Might have more than that. Any big uh, Funko Pop collectors out there? I like how this is also signed in that sort of petty blue Sharpie. You know, Richard Petty, does Richard Petty have like custom made petty blue ink Sharpies to sign things like at the racetrack? It wouldn't surprise me if he did. If anyone does, it's him. Oh, they sent me a bag here. Ooh, with some pristine auction swag. All right, I gotta put the hat on at least. Make sure it fits my giant head. Hey, that's actually pretty good, not too snug. Oh, another big box inside another box. I have a feeling I know what this is. It's actually, there's a label on the outside. I know exactly what it is. I see fans all the time walking around tracks with these replica full-size driver helmets, getting them to sign. I just think that's such a cool like collectible. It's such a cool canvas for an athlete to sign. I think we have a Brad Keselowski. Yes, Brad Keselowski. They've got the face nice and protected. Ooh, Brad K. Can we get a close up on that signature? 
Get that looking nice. Ooh, RFK Racing Castrol, Brad K. That's that's sharp. Decorative only. Can't wear them. It does not offer any legitimate you know, safety or protection. <laughs> Holy cow! I have a few of these now, so I'm gonna need to like have a dedicated driver helmet shelf. This is a cool one though. Love this. Oh, next I think we've got some die cast cars. Who do we have here? Oh my goodness! Just drop the box. Luckily it was empty. This is the goods right here. Kurt Busch's Jordan brand Kansas win from 2022 signed by Kurt Busch. Future NASCAR Hall of Famer right there. Can I can I take this out of the package just, just for a moment? It's race used so I want to see the you know grit and grime. Oh yes! I've not seen one of these uh, cars in person. Oh but look at the detail. It's sandblasted in the front. I mean some of that's just the scheme itself is naturally kind of gray and faded in parts. Got that, what do they call it? Like elephant print? Something like that? I'm not, what do they call them? Some sneaker head? I'm not a huge shoe guy, I, I must say. I've been wearing the same Adidas tennis shoes for like three years. You can see where the Goodyear has been rubbed off. Oh man, Lionel did a great job capturing all the little details and decals of this Kurt Busch Jordan brand scheme. His final win. This is a die I've, I've been looking for for a long time. Appreciate Pristine sending this my way. This is unbelievable. One more look, because it deserves it. Yes. Another box right here. Okay, this is a, must be an older one. Hey, another race win scheme. This one, Ryan Blaney from 2021, pre-championship Ryan Blaney. I think I just dropped something, where'd it go? I think it was just the, the win sticker, but I can't lose the certificate of authenticity. That's still in there. Everything from Pristine comes with a certificate of authenticity. Look at this, signed again. These everything I think here has been signed by, uh, this one's by Ryan Blaney. Check it out. Admiring some of the finer details. You won't see this on a modern next gen cars anymore. Let me see. Can you see the little piece of tape there on the on the grill? Don't really see that anymore. I think they're allowed to add tape to like the brake duct openings with the next gen, but not not how they used to. So uh, kind of a rare sight to see on some of these race wind die casts nowadays. This is like a blast from the past, even though it's only two years old. But that's awesome. That's sharp. My dad's a big Ryan Blaney fan, and I'm falling behind on my Christmas shopping. If I can't find him a better gift, this might have to be my backup. He'll he'll love this. <laughs> Ooh, except I just remembered he watches most of my videos. I may have to edit this part out. Let's keep rolling, more die cast cars. Oh, of course. This is from 2022 when Haley Deegan made her Xfinity Series debut for SS Greenlight in the red and white pristine auction colors. This is a pretty clean looking paint scheme. Is this a is this one race used or is it just, I think it's just the scheme, the clean version of the scheme. Although didn't she run? She ran like 13th, I think, in her debut. A pretty solid result for her first Xfinity start. Obviously, Deegan going full-time Xfinity next season. Plenty of pressure on her next year, but this is a uh, really awesome scheme. The pristine auction colors in all of their glory. And Haley Deegan's signature, right there. How about that? There's no way this box keeps going. Goodness gracious. I'll have a dedicated helmet, shelf, and also plenty of die casts. I know you guys like seeing your favorite driver's die casts in the background of my videos. I've taken some away from time to time and I'll get comments. What did you do with the Sterling Marlin die cast? What happened to the Jimmy one you had? I do get those comments. So uh, I'm going to have plenty of die casts to choose from this new season. Whoa. Uh, oh, Pocono. Pocono. Oh, so this is... Oh man, this was the race where Kyle Larson blew a tire heading into the final turn and Alex Bowman running second. Right place, right time to capitalize. This may still be my favorite uh, ally scheme that Bowman has run. Well, besides the one-offs that he's done like at Nashville, some of those have been ooh, mm, juicy. I like the white one from 2022. I honestly, maybe this is a hot take, I didn't love either of his main ally schemes this year, I think I liked the, the day one more than the night one, but yeah, neither were fantastic in my opinion. This one was good. This one was just all around a nice looking scheme. And he won, I think he won all four of those races that year in this paint scheme. I could be wrong, something like that. Uh, this is a great one, fun race. Remember that Pocono finish like it was yesterday, gosh. I think that'll do it for die cast. I pushed this thing off to the side. Whoa, we got another hat here. Pristine must know I like to wear, <laughs> I like to wear hats. This is a Dale. Oh, whoa, I have never seen anything quite like this. I'm not gonna be wearing this hat, I don't think, because this clean, pristine, white, <laughs> good wrench racing hat is signed. Can we get that in focus, please? It is signed by Dale Earnhardt. The Dale Sr. Oh, oh my God, how many of these are still like out there? 
gosh, Pristine sent like a dictionary's worth of paperwork here to authenticate it. After examination and consideration of multiple factors common to known exemplars of the signatures, Beckett Authentication Services offers its opinion that the item is authentic. Certified April 4th of this year, close to April Fool's Day, but not quite. So I think this is legit. Holy moly, can we look at that? Oh. Gotta get another close up look at that. I'm, I don't wanna touch anywhere near the signature with my greasy, grubby fingers. That is unbelievable. You wanna talk about iconic signatures? You know, Richard Petty has a great one. I think of Walt Disney with his swoopy, very whimsical letters. Dale Earnhardt, that signature right there. Holy moly, doesn't get much more iconic than that. I, I'm gonna put this delicately <laughs> back in the bag that it came in. Okay, um, <laughs> let me set that gently right over there. I was not expecting to open this box and see something quite like that. I, I, I let's, let's, let's talk for a moment. I'm sure there's someone, probably many people out there that will cherish and appreciate that even more than I would. Someone who actually watched Dale Senior race. So I'll have to figure out what to do with that. A lot of what Pristine sent though, well, for sure. Gonna look fantastic in my new studio. Gonna have to set some shelves up, some displays up. It's gonna look awesome. Oh my gosh. But we're also gonna have to do some giveaways. And we have another envelope in here I missed. Oh yes, perfect timing as a matter of fact. Speaking of, Pristine sent a $100, I can't show you the whole thing, there's a code on the other side, but a $100 uh, Pristine auction gift card. And in the note they sent me earlier, they did say this would be for a giveaway. So uh, yeah, did y'all know that? Look at this, Mr. Pristine. Did y'all know that they had a, uh, that they had a, a mascot? <laughs> All right. $100 to pristineauction.com. Definitely gonna have to give this away. Best way I know to do it is through X or Twitter. So if you have an X account, I'll be giving this away over there. You can click the top link down in the description. I'll have that post up as soon as this video goes live. So be sure to head over there. Just hit the retweet button. I'll select a random winner. Maybe it'll be you. Shoot, $100 to pristineauction.com. You saw some of the crazy stuff they have to offer over there. Uh, that could certainly buy a pretty nice Christmas gift for the sports fan in your life. Stay tuned on my social Social media platforms it'll probably be X or Instagram YouTube there's really no there's really no way to do a secure giveaway on YouTube through the comment section I see spam accounts impersonating me all the time in the comment section do not ever reply unless you see the little gray check mark next to the next to the name otherwise it is not me so YouTube unfortunately in its current state does not really work for giveaways but some of these things like these trading cards the Funko Pops and maybe some of the other stuff we will be doing giveaways stay tuned for more information on there might be on Instagram, might be on X, might be somewhere else. But for now, if you want to have a shot at winning this $100 pristine auction gift card, I love how they put it in a little protective case. Like it's, you know, like it's a special you know, rare trading card or something. It's just, it's just a gift card. If you want to have a shot at winning this, click the top link down in the description below. It'll take you to X. If you have an X account, all you gotta do is hit that retweet button. Uh, but then stay tuned because I will find ways to give some of this stuff away to, to fans uh, as well in the near future. Um, wow, I did not expect this. They just said, hey, open the box. We got some stuff for your studio. Did not expect all of this craziness. I guess I should come to expect it. The folks at Pristine Auction are incredible. As always at pristineauction.com, you can use registration code ERIC for $10 off your first order. I'll put that link down there in the description below. It'll be just underneath the giveaway link. Uh, this was incredible. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We'll be back real soon with more uh, typical out of the groove episodes. And before long, I will have my new studio set up uh, in all of its new glory. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you in the next video.